open to Bob's transit van or today my garage I'm going to do a video now on the Serbo GX I'm sure you've seen videos of it where they show how it monitors your batteries and your inverter and your solar panels but it does more than that it'll monitor your fresh and your gray water levels let's go So here's my Serbo GX. I've got it powered up using a DC power supply over there. It'll supply up to 3 amps, so that's plenty for the Serbo GX. I've also got my uh, Ethernet hooked up so I could update my firmware and I've got this wire this cable that comes from a tank level sensor this one is by 100 tech uh, the other brand that you see a lot is the KUS brand but this is the one that I'm going to put in my fresh water tank it's 19 inches long because I got a 30 gallon tank that I'm putting inside the van. Okay, besides the Servo GX, I've also got GX Touch 50, which is the display. And normally, when people do videos, this is all they show they show the inverter and the AC input, AC loads and any uh, solar panel input and your battery status but this thing can actually monitor and display the status of your water tanks alright so here we are at the the main page now if you'll notice when I swipe it just goes back and forth between these two screens now I want to be able to see my tank levels on one of these main screens so how you do that go to your menu go to settings go to display and language and where it says show tanks overview Turn that on. And you go back to pages. Come over here. And it shows all the tanks that are set up in the GX Touch from the or in the Serbo GX from the factory. But I'm only using the fresh and the wastewater. How do I get rid of those fuel tanks that I don't really need to see? So you go back to the menu, settings, then you go all the way down to the bottom where it says IO and since the temperature sensors and the tank level sensors are analog inputs, click on there. and I'm only using tank level 1 and tank level 2 so I need to turn all these off and notice says this sensor will remain visible on the devices list use remove disconnected devices to remove it okay I'm going to go down here get rid of all the sensors except tank level one and two ok 
Okay, now when I go back and below the settings is this remove disconnected devices. Highlight that, hit press to remove, and they all went away. Now when I go to the main pages, all I have is my fresh and wastewater tank levels. And then I still have my other two screens. You can see how it updates when you move the float on the level sensor. And I don't think it main, makes any difference how you hook up the level sensor since it's just a resistive sensor. It's going to be the same resistance either way. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. I'll probably do another one because I'm tr I want to be able to use this Relay 1 and Relay 2 as some kind of alarm either for my battery or for my water levels. And I'll figure out how to do that and I'll make another video. Have a good day. See you around.